saying. Oh. If I had to pick one that was mine, just say it to me now. Right? Okay. Now? Yeah. Cool. All right, tell me now. If I had to pick one, that would be my favorite. Hold on. Oh, music video. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, you want me to say the whole question? The whole okay. Question. You want me to do it again? <laughs> you want me to answer again? Hey, y'all. This is Chanel, and I'm here with Prince Jr. And this is Year of the Prince. Tonight is a celebration. Good vibes and it's so amazing. Cause you know that we made it to another one. Tonight is a declaration. Good life and it's yours. Embrace it. Cause you know we're the greatest and you know who we are. Cheers. People just kind of see this persona of Prince Jr. and the crown and and how he dresses. A lot of people, I'm sure, think he's cocky. Who is this guy, a Prince of Pop? You know, but honestly, he in in it is real life. But he's not he's not a cocky person. He's not an arrogant person. If you really knew Prince Jr., he he's supportive. And if and if he sees anybody that's really trying to go in a big direction, he's never the type to hate or to be like, oh, he's. He's the type of person to reach out and be like, hey, I see you're going this way. Let's go this way together. He's a really hardworking artist, and I think that people don't give him enough credit for that. And he really goes above and beyond to make sure that his images are portrayed and that they're clear and that the visuals are entertaining and they're not just something that you want to skip through, but it's something that you're really enticed by. And it's amazing to see his development. It's amazing to see his confidence. This is somebody that doesn't look left and look right and compare himself. This is somebody that is focused on his own lane. And, you know, he's, he's, he's working on to get his wins, small victories, and make sure that he gets where he needs to be. A lot of people are insecure um, themselves. When they see a super confident person, they could kind of be jealous or kind of look at people like, oh, who's that guy I think he is? When really he's just confident, he's sure of himself, he loves himself, and he's sure of what his purpose is and what his mission is, and he's just not gonna let anybody uh, get in the way of stopping that. Well, Stars Die Every Day is my favorite video um, that I've ever done because I just felt like I was untamed. I think as Prince JR, you know, I have this very regal, um, very pristine image um, and sometimes it could be a little reserved. I feel like on Stars Die Every Day, I was like unleashed and I got this chance to just be kind of like crazy and really out of myself, um, even though I you know, most of my videos, I am playing a character. There is some kind of motivation for, you know, my character in those videos. But for Stars Die Every Day, it was just all about, like, being wild and being kind of like this, like, figure of attention and ridicule and just resisting all of that. And that's why um, I just found it so freeing. And that's actually the only video that you see me without a crowd. Clap your hands, congratulate. I think at the time I was dealing with so much criticism about my music and just about my image and the content of my music. And I started to realize that, you know, when you're someone who's being revolutionary, you're trying to shift culture and you're just doing big things people are naturally going to hate on that sometimes. People are naturally going to attack you for that at some times. And I just felt like um, the song was kind of like my kind of like, I'm still going to be doing me kind of song because I just felt that I needed to uh, really just for myself understand that in the direction that I'm going and with the content and the type of music that I'm creating, it's only the inevitable that people will start attacking me. They will start criticizing me and they will start um, having possible negative perceptions of me.
first time working with Prince JR. And that was my first time being on a music video set, being asked to choreograph anything. So it was just a really special moment. And it was really cool to be able to be a part of that experience and to just partake in that kind of responsibility going from a dancer to a performer. I'm pretty shook that I like can look that cool because a lot of times when I dance at home where I'm in the studio, I can compare myself a lot. So when I look at the actual final product, I'm like, wow, like I can, I can actually do this. So it's encouraging to see the process going from a little like unweary or unsure um, and sometimes uncomfortable because I do have to push myself um, and be on really high stamina and just confident even when I don't feel it on the inside. Just get up on my face, 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 huh? That every day was actually a freestyle that was an unchoreographed piece um, Prince actually asked me to do it like five minutes before we filmed it but it was fun so that's why it's one of my favorites because it was a really special moment um, but when I do choreograph it's usually just a series of freestyled structured movement Really, the song was inspired by Jesus, and that's why I was trying to get at this idea that a star is born again. Because I do feel that um, walking in those same footsteps in that same line of uh, just revolutionary work that even Jesus was doing, you know, he has he spent his whole life loving people, doing really nothing wrong, but was still criticized, still attacked, still ridiculed. And so for me, I'm just like, that's just what's gonna happen. And so the song is like basically saying. Haters are gonna hate, but you still gotta do you and just embrace that process. Don't take it personal, um, but just understand that you're you're walking in a in a in a nice line of destiny when you are facing those attacks, you are facing that criticism, and you are facing that ridicule. Yeah.